Hey everybody, welcome in to Love God is Tarot. My name is Maureen. I'm so happy to be here today. Today's reading will have extended messages for the Aphrodite Circle. I ended up doing that because there were a lot of messages coming through and I wanted to share them. So if you're not a member of the Aphrodite Circle, go ahead and join if you want to watch the extended reading today. And for all the Aphrodite members, make sure you watch the extended version of today's reading. Today's reading is going to focus on messages about who is your next boyfriend. You have three choices under which each of these cards is one of the kings um, and you're going to see which energy you're feeling. I've put three hearts, um, um, you know, a heart on top of each card today to help you with that. Um, the first card in the first group has the green jade, the second has the black onyx, and the third has the purple amethyst. So take a moment, see which energy you're feeling. These are general readings, so if you're not sure and you want to listen to more than one pile, go ahead and do so. I think today you're going to really feel very strongly because this this reading felt that way to me after I did number ones I decided to do the extendeds because of that so they're very specific see which you're feeling one two three the timestamps are below um, you can hit the join button if you want to watch the extended um, I'll see you in a minute hey number one let's get started and see what messages you have about your next boyfriend and which king you were drawn to today. Ooh, you were drawn to the King of Pentacles. Okay, the King of Pentacles energy is all about somebody that is concerned with security, concerned with like all the things that keep you safe and comfortable. Think about like a cozy house, good food, um, someone that pays the bills on time, somebody who's really responsible with money. Um, this person probably has a really good job. They, um, they really pride themselves on saving money, on having something put away for a rainy day. This is like the energy of someone who's into their career, who could even have like a, um, a job that has a lot of long-term security. So not so much an entrepreneur, but more like a family business that their parents had, like a restaurant, um, a working for the government, getting a pension, that kind of thing. And if they do uh, work for like corporate America or, or for a business, they definitely have a 401k, okay? Because we're looking at the pentacle energy here, there could be a connection for you with work. Doesn't have to be, but that could be the way that you meet this person. Um, but they are definitely someone who is stable, who is interested in a long-term connection. Um, and the signs associated with the King of Pentacles are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? So that's a little bit about your King. Now let's get you some more info. Let's see what's going on, okay? I'm just gonna see where this reading takes us and find out what the universe wants to tell us today. Okay, <laughs> we're obviously looking at a team situation, a solid foundation here with the Three of Pentacles, a connection with someone, like I said, it could be through work. Let me get the light a little closer here for you. Um, it's a little dark still um and i love this card in a relationship reading because it's all about building a solid foundation okay there could also be like friends or co-workers with you when you meet you could also work with this person on a project um they could be like someone that comes in to do work for you but yeah there we go there's the pentacles okay what else do we need to know today? It feels like a lot of cards want to jump out. It's funny. Wow, that's why. <laughs> the 
cards are like, hey, this is really exciting. Oh my gosh, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a beautiful new opportunity. An offer of love is coming to you. This is in the future position. So I am just really excited about this person. They are open. They are interested in really sharing their themselves emotionally this is such a gift this is like oh i love this and this is definitely a new person okay because we have the ace here now what i'm kind of feeling is that you could start as friends or co-workers and then move to romance okay but this person is so open. Look at that. It's just like your cup is overflowing. This is water sign energy, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be, but if that resonates for you. Um, but this is just this energy of a new gift, a new offer of love is coming. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can get any other details about this <laughs> oh okay wow we have a perfect match we have the king and queen of pentacles now even if you are you know a couple that is two two female energies two male energies this is just indicating that this is a perfect match okay we have the queen of pentacles coming in so it's like you two are so well suited. You may be someone with earth sign placements, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You don't have to be, but this is showing that you share those same values as this king. You share the same values as this person. You want stability. You want you know, nurturing and comfort. And um, this is about building a life together, but also sharing that emotional connection. Oh my gosh. Wow. I did not expect this this morning, but we're obviously very, very connected here. So this person, and, and you know what's fun? Um, I put the green um, heart with this pile and it ends up being all about this earth energy. So that's kind of cool. I just picked the hearts not knowing which king was underneath. And so I love this. Okay. Wow. This is big. Look at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's the only warning here is to really be open emotionally, to open yourself up and really show who you are and show what you want. Okay. Let's see. Is there any other advice? Anything else you need to know? Okay. So if you are hanging on to a past person, okay if you are staying in a connection that or just like focusing on someone from the past that no longer you know it's kind of over but you're just not willing to let it go um there's a warning here which is um you know this is that past person is the devil card reverse i feel like for some of you you may even have been um, you may be in the process of letting go of this person, okay? You may have either recently gone through a, di a divorce, separation, or an end of a connection, or you've just released someone energetically, or you've released something within yourself that you know isn't productive, isn't healthy, okay? <gasps> oh, this is so romantic. Look what's coming. When you release that negative energy, this is when it all starts to flow. We have the Knight of Cups coming in. There's that cup, there's that cup. I feel like this person is coming to you, okay? Bottom of the deck now is the Six. So Six of Wands, more, I mean, Pentacles, more Pentacle energy. This is a very balanced connection. And um, this is someone who you see you're, you're very equal with. We have the king and the queen. You both give to each other what the other gives too. So it's like a very balanced connection, 
okay? So I think this is like, listen, you have to give your heart, you have to, you know, be open. This is a beautiful opportunity that comes to you after a difficult time. Okay, so bottom of the deck now we have the three of cups. So you may be out with friends and we have threes twice here. So I kind of feel like um, there's some sort of group situation when this um when you meet this person when you connect with this person okay um and the final outcome is the hierophant so <laughs> there's this taurus energy so we have the king and the queen of pentacles all this work energy and then we get a taurus major arcana the hierophant this is traditional possibly long-term stability possibly marriage okay this could be someone you end up marrying so wow very very nice i love it i think it's very connected to work for you um okay let's pull you i thought today i would also look at the earth which is really proving to be a great choice for you today Ooh, there is passion and fire between you i'm glad to see it because we didn't have any fire in the reading so that's fun definitely a lot of fire stone people vigilance this is so interesting with all of that earth right solid 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 um vigilance it's about really giving this person in your relationship a lot of attention uh and showing your vulnerability which is what i talked to you about with that cup energy yeah just showing how you feel and the meadow which is earth energy the green stone again all that earth taurus virgo capricorn very strong emphasis on taurus um we also have the water signs cancer pisces scorpio and we have the beautiful meadow of vulnerability this is like very spring summer to me leaning towards summer in terms of timing so yes yes i love it okay I'm going to roll the Astro Dice. Let me grab them. And what is, these are all planet ones and I want some with the astrological signs. Okay, there we go. Okay, what? Two planets. So I guess the planets want to make themselves known today, let's find out what are the messages about this connection. Cancer, there you go. There's that water. There's the um, Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, okay? So beautiful, nurturing energy, Neptune. Neptune rules Pisces. We're getting a lot about romance, okay? Uranus, unexpected unexpected so this is not something that's going to be planned this is something that you are going to be really shocked and surprised by in a good way okay now i'm going to pull you an aphrodite message this is my deck it is for sale if you want to purchase it check the link in um my home page pomegranate aphrodite's fruit creativity ruby interesting ruby is july so july could be a time period seeds growth earth energy legacy you are about to give birth to something wow so for some of you the pomegranate is really a symbol of um, children giving birth, creativity. Some of you may be working on a new project that brings you two together, but this is all about working as a team. And this is a message about building something, a legacy together. The king and the queen of pentacles, building stability, building something solid for the future, something lasting. Okay. Ooh, I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you want bonus content or extended readings, I am going to do an extended on this one. I'm going to pull more tarot cards to get details about this connection and how, when, where, and why you 
will meet. I'm also going to do initials for you and pull charms. So we're going to dive deeper today for the Aphrodite circle. So if you are a member, keep watching. You get to watch the extended reading. If you aren't, you can join today by hitting the join button and then you can continue to watch the rest of the reading. Okay. Um, so for anyone that's not staying, take care. And um, for my Aphrodite circle, let's really dive in because I'm excited. I want to learn more about how you guys meet, timing, and also characteristics of this person, um, as well as initials. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey, number two, um, there is an extended portion of this reading. I extended and did an in-depth for today because number ones was so compelling. It turned out to be great. So if you want to see the extended, um, hit the join button and become a member of the Aphrodite Circle. Okay. And for all my members, watch the extended. Okay, here we go. Number two, you were drawn to the message of the black onyx. And for each one of the three piles today, I chose a king, one of the kings in the tarot deck. So we're going to see which king you got today. Ooh, you have my favorite king in this deck. You have the king of cups. I just love him. I think he is so attractive. I just get this vibe of like sexy, sexy man who's confident, who's like strong, but still very sensitive. He is wearing a Pisces necklace. Um, this can be a Pisces person, sun, moon, rising, Cancer or Scorpio. For me, I feel the energy of Pisces very strong, especially today. Um, but could be any of the three doesn't also doesn't have to be. Um, this is the energy of someone who is sensitive, kind, giving, compassionate, open, emotionally. Okay. So this is someone that's going to tell you how they feel. They're going to show you how they feel. They're not going to keep things hidden. They're not going to play games. Okay. Um, the energy is just kind. Okay. I also feel like this person has really beautiful eyes that draw you in like those kind, sweet. I just, I just see them. Um, the eyes are what is going to do it for you. Okay. So maybe some of you are really drawn to people's eyes, but you're just going to notice, you're going to notice this person. Okay. And that's, what's going to draw you in. That's going to be like your first kind of contact. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's see what other messages we have about this. King of Cups for number two today. We have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands says to me that um, this person might live at a distance from you or there is something that they have been planning for quite a while okay whether it's a trip whether it's um to get back out into the business uh, into the dating world whether it's travel of some sort um i'm really focused on the wand here and the wands here so i feel like it could even be because I'm, you know, this one plus those three makes four. It could be a uh, party, an engagement, some sort of celebration that is bringing this person towards you. Okay. But I see them for right now. I see them kind of, well, I was going to say I see them going towards you, but I kind of, Maybe you're coming towards them. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Too soon to tell. Because a lot of times the Three of Wands is like your ship comes in. And with the Pisces energy. Okay, Page of Pentacles reversed. So, okay. There is some... Yeah, this person has to wait. They have to wait for you. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person. 
I almost feel like this person could be somebody that you have met already. Okay, let's see. Yes, Hangman Reverse, you've had a change in perspective. This person, now, if you've met them already, this person has been waiting for you for a while, okay? And you may have rejected them first. I don't know why. I mean, you know me. I love that King of Cups. I can't imagine rejecting him, but that's okay. Um, or you could have had to take, you, you, you could have been going through some things or had to take some time to figure things out. There's definitely a change in perspective here. Someone has a change in perspective. Could be him. We'll see. We're going to pull more cards. But this person is is ready to go. They've been planning this for a while. There's been delay and there's been a change in perspective. Okay, let's keep going. Now I'm curious. This is now officially a mystery. Ooh, beautiful. I have to say, I am loving today's readings. Number ones was pretty amazing. And this is great too. I love this. Okay, you're coming through as the Empress with the King of Cups. I love this. There's definitely potential for children here. Either you may have children already or want to have a family in the future. The Empress is definitely a card of someone who, feminine energy, who is a nurturer, who grows things, who knows her value, who stands her ground, who's very strong, a powerful person, a compassionate person, a creative person. Um, this is Taurus and Libra energy. This is a beautiful combination. Okay. So it's like, here I am. I'm growing all these beautiful things. I'm looking at you. Okay. Yeah. You could be the one that delays things a little bit because we have the page reversed here. We have the Empress, but I see this as a beautiful connection beautiful connection. This person definitely honors you. This person is really like respects you. They think the world of you. You are definitely a nice combination. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. This person is bringing you a new love opportunity. So you could have known them in the past, but maybe not in a love way. Or you could meet and there's some sort of delay. Could be because of distance between you. Um, but this person is definitely offering you passion, inspiration. The Ace of Wands is all about, oh my gosh, I believe in love again. This is like a gift, a new beginning, creativity, growth, uh, definitely potential for children here. Um, this is connected to travel. So I do kind of feel this may be foreign or travel or some sort of distance between you physically, um, but it's also creative and it's very fiery and very passionate. Okay, this is like, oh my God, I believe in love again, bottom of the deck, oh my God. Wow, this is unbelievable. Now, this is an incredible, I feel like, well, the delay could be a fire sign that you're thinking about, but then ultimately you go for the King of Cups because this is pointing towards the past. This is pointing towards the future. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like you're getting two offers and that's what the delay is with this guy. Okay, ooh, the plot thickens. I love it, but we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And now we have fire signs have entered the building. Leo, Sag, Aries, interesting. Okay. Hmm, let's see what other messages we have about this energy today for you. Number two, I'm gonna use the Earth Oracle and see what other messages you need about this connection. 
wolf instinct. Ooh. Okay. Instinct. No. Ooh, summer solstice radiance. Wow. Okay, so the summer solstice happens on June 20th. 21st, sometimes the 20th, sometimes the 21st. That is right around the beginning of cancer season. Okay, the summer, the summer is a big moment for you. I think that's when this offer could happen. You're going to have to trust your instincts when it comes to this one, because we have the change in perspective. We have, um, we have two offers here. We have one from someone from the past, someone in the future. Okay. This could just be something that you're thinking about, which is why there's a delay. But yeah, you're going to have to trust your instinct on this one. The summer could be really big for you. Ooh, I think this is when this all happens, okay? Um, I am going to pull you a Aphrodite message from my Oracle deck. This is for sale. This is my deck. It has all Aphrodite um, signs and symbols. So let's see what Aphrodite has to say. Ooh, okay. Hmm. That could be the delay. Jealousy, Aphrodite's nemesis, envy, insecure, control, gossip, number 18, beware of jealousy and control issues, which could be that page of pentacles reverse. Yeah. Like, trust your instinct. If people are jealous, you know, and they mess with you, they mess with your head, and they delay something that could be wonderful, you have to trust yourself and don't listen to other people. Wow, that's a really good warning for you. Really good. Okay, let's see what other signs and symbols come up about this connection for number two. You have Capricorn, Pluto, and Uranus. Wow. Okay. So this is major transformation and change could be connected to the sign Scorpio. We have a very out of nowhere, unexpected connection. This is like a lightning bolt. Okay. But that also goes back to the friends issue. So there could be it's someone, a friend, someone from the past, somebody messing with you a little bit on this. So trust yourself only. Um, and we have Capricorn. Capric Capricorn um, could be that page of pentacles reversed. That could be the delay. That could be someone that is maybe even causing some problems for you. Okay. So trust yourself on this one and don't let anyone get in your head. I think that the summertime is going to be a big time for you um, right around June 20th, 21st, or they, their birthday could be around there or your birthday could be around there, but it's an important time. Okay. And it's when things really show, when they really show up, when they shine. Okay. There's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of passion. There's so much emotion. Wow. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Um, because this, these were so good today, I'm going to continue and I'm going to do extended messages um, for my Aphrodite Circle members. So if you want to join, if you want to continue and see the rest of the reading, hit the join button and you'll have access to it right away, plus access to all the other bonus content I've done, plus everything coming up in the month ahead. Um, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to um, continue. I'm going to pull messages um, about this a little bit, but I think we've gotten it, kind of gotten it cleared up. I'm going to focus on this King of Cups and um, who he is, how he appears, and any other timing stuff, and maybe more about the delay. We'll see. I'm going to pull more tarot cards and also um, get charm readings and initials up for this person, letters and initials. So, okay, that's it for you guys. Unless you want to keep going and join the Aphrodite Circle, now I'm going to do the extended reading. Take care. Hi, number three. Let's get started on your reading. Today, we are looking at messages about your next boyfriend. And the first card is 
one of the kings. I picked three kings um, before we started, and um, this is going to give you kind of the overall energy of this person. So you have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a person who is very successful, driven, passionate. Um, this person is warm, protective. They are an action taker. This is someone who has a lot of ideas, is very creative. Um, they could be an entrepreneur. It's got that kind of entrepreneur vibe. This is someone who um, could be one of the fire signs, which is Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. They don't have to be, but they could be. Um, but this is someone who's got like a twinkle in their eye, who's fun, who's funny. They just have like a real positive sort of um, upbeat energy. You know, this is someone who's definitely sees the world with like the glass um, half full, not half empty. Um, positivity, enthusiasm, energy, I would say, are all the things that are coming through about this person. But let's get some details. I'm going to start with the tarot to see what we have. In today's reading, I do, I am doing extended reading on this for... Aphrodite Circle members. Um, so stay tuned, watch the full reading if you're part of the Aphrodite Circle. I dive deep in because these were so, um, like the first, I, the, after I started and did the first reading, I was like, wow, I need to, this is a day to do an extended. So if you want extended messages, go ahead and hit the join button. Okay, so let's see what we have about this King of Wands today. Wow, the Empress, beautiful. The Empress, the Empress is this wonderful energy of um, growth, someone who's a nurturer, someone who has very strong values and a strong sense of self. This is a beautiful partnership. This energy is Libra and Taurus in terms of the zodiac signs, but it doesn't have to be. But it's ruled by Venus. The Empress is ruled by Venus. She's, she's you know, someone who loves beautiful things, is surrounded by love and positivity. I think that the two of you share that energy of like, of liking a pretty environment, or um, maybe you're someone that likes flowers or likes to grow things in the garden, um, likes to nurture children, take care of children, could be a teacher, could be a mom, could want to be a mother, um, you know, could be a pet mom, somebody who loves their pets, who has, you know, dogs or cats and animals. Um, just there's just the Empress is just abundance and it's about growth, and so is the King of wands. So this is a very strong combination of people who can grow things together, who are both creative, who are nurturing. There's a lot of nurturing energy between the two. Um, but let's see what else we have about this person and this connection. Ooh, okay. So this is Clarity. The Ace of Swords is an opportunity, a fresh start, clear thinking, a choice. I feel like this is a new person coming into your life, and I feel like you are clear about what it is you want, and they are clear about what it is they want. So this is a really great timing thing in terms of this connection. It's like you have sort of an aha moment. They have an aha moment. Um, there could be some sort of connection. We see the crown here. We see the crown here. Um, there could be a, a connection to this person, the King of Wands, getting some sort of promotion or you getting some sort of promotion. I do feel like there's also some sort of elevated status with this relationship, whether that's like, you know, someone who makes a lot of money, somebody who, you know, has a certain lifestyle. I just feel this energy of being able to share that together. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is about knowing what you want. And this person I feel like is someone that 
in your mind, it's like someone you would choose, right? So it's almost like you can manifest this energy. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. We have, ooh, right next to each other, the Five of Cups followed by the Six of Cups. So interesting. The Five of Cups really talks about um, being sad, you know, some sort of loss. You can see that this person is really emotional and there are three cups turned over and there are two cups behind them. And the two cups behind him represents the two of cups in the tarot, which is this beautiful energy of partnership. So it's like after a loss comes a true love. And then right next to it, we have the six of cups showing again, there's the two cups here, kind of like these two friends sitting here. So I feel like there could be a connection to childhood, to the past, to also this person being someone who is much, very much a friend. They could be a friend first and then a love. Okay. So maybe it's that, you know, after some difficulty after going through a couple of you know failed relationships or um, people letting you down or some sort of betrayal um, you end up getting clarity about what it is that matters to you and what's important to you and this person really ticks those boxes this person is that trustworthy loyal friend somebody that has that innocent quality to them somebody that um likes the same things you do. There's a lot here with the Empress and the Six of Cups about um, earth growth, being in nature. You know, you see the two little friends here with the, fla with the flowers and the cups. Um, so I feel like there could be a connection here with loving, being outdoors, being someone who loves to garden, somebody who wants to grow things and plant things, but also just that sense of playfulness, of innocence. This can also connect back to the King of Wands in a Leo energy because, you know, Leo also rules the fifth house in astrology, which is... Um, childhood, um, creativity, children, and also the empress represents motherhood. So we could be looking at also a connection between you that brings family, that brings children. Okay, beautiful energy. What else do we have? Oh, we have the Hierophant. So yes, there is possibility for a, con a committed connection, a ceremony of some sort. You could also meet this person at a wedding, at a ceremony. This is Taurus energy coming through. It's about, again, we have Taurus here. We have the Empress, which can be a Taurus. This is about values, growth, um, you know, good food, a uh, nice house, all of the creature comforts, okay? So I feel like this connection is really with someone who enjoys those things too. Ooh, and we have this six of wands. We have two sixes here. Six is the lover's card in the tarot, and we have sixes coming through. The six of wands is success. This is someone who is bold. This is somebody who, um, when they, you know, when they come into town, you really notice them. This can be a Leo. There's a lot of connection to Leo here, I would say. Um, this is someone who's successful. I feel like this relationship has a lot of success attached to it. Like there is potential here for long-term success. You know, we have the Hierophant, which is that commitment and ceremony. And we have the Six of Wands, which is success. Okay. This is definitely a powerful person. I feel like they are successful. I feel like they have traditional values. They could be, be a friend first and then move to a love. And I feel like you meet them after some sort of heartbreak or setback or after not having, you know, successful love energy, um, you meet them and you connect. Now, this person could also, with the Six of Cups, be someone from your past or someone you've known for, you know, back in the day. Um, there could be a connection to childhood or um, to a previous time or to, you know, home or where you grew up or something like that. They could also just remind you of someone that 
you know, you once knew or, you know, a friend energy. There's just this very strong sort of trustworthy feeling that I'm getting with this person's energy. A lot of Taurus, we have Leo. I would say that those are Libra, Taurus, and Leo are the signs that are coming through today. Okay, now let's see what the Earth Oracle has for you, number three. Ooh, effortless. I love that waterfall, water, the cup energy. And you know what's interesting? It's kind of like a play on words, that waterfall. Because when cups turn over, what happens? The water falls out, but there's still two left. And that's that effortlessness of the friend energy, of someone you're comfortable with, somebody who reminds you um, of that ease of an emotional connection, right? Because cups in tarot are water, and here we have the waterfall. So it's like, there's just, it's easy. It's easy between the two of you, right? It's effortless. And it also comes after some water has spilled, some emotions, you know, after a difficult time. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now, let me get a message from Aphrodite. This is my Oracle deck. It is for sale, so check the link below. Oops, we've got a couple of the Goddess Oracle in there. Let me make sure we're all good. Let's see what Aphrodite has for you. Ooh, sandals, Aphrodite's shoe, comfort, travel, summer. Ooh, I love it with summer. So we have the six of cups, which feels like summer. Um, so they'll sweep you off your feet. And here we have the six of wands coming in and it's like movement. And this person rides in and sweeps you off their feet. They are successful travel. Yes, with wand energy, we have the king of wands. We have the six of wands. There can be a connection to travel to foreign people, places, um, feet. Number 38, love will sweep, sweep you off your feet. I love it. And I also think of summertime as that childhood, that innocence, you know, we have the picture here of the six of cups to, you know, in the summer, just sitting there playing in the field, you know, with the flowers. It's definitely giving me also that Leo vibes of summer. This could be August. Um, it could be, you know, a connection to August, um, to meeting when you're traveling, to meeting when you're somewhere comfortable. Okay, but it does move quickly and this person is someone that moves fast because we have the King of Wands with the Six of Wands. This is not someone who's going to go slow, <laughs> okay? This is not somebody that's going to go slow. They are definitely going to move fast. And you're going to be like, okay, yeah. And they're going to be like exactly what I said. It's like it's a quick moving energy because it's like I know what I want. You know what you want. There it is. It's effortless. Ooh. Okay. Let's roll the Astro Dice and see if there are any other messages for number three about this connection. We have the North Node of Destiny. We have Gemini energy and Mercury. Okay, Mercury, the ruler of Gemini is coming through. Um, Gemini is also a connection to that clarity, to that Ace of Swords. Um, Gemini is also two. Okay, it's the sign of the twins, and I'm thinking for some, that twin flame, okay? And Gemini also is childhood and like early education and your local environment and neighborhood. So this person, you could meet them traveling, you could end up traveling together, but they could also be someone, as I said, who either reminds you of your childhood or where you grew up or is actually from that area, okay? So I do feel like this, though, is a new connection. Even if it's someone you knew from the past, it's not someone you dated in the past, okay? Um, because we do have that beautiful Ace of Swords, and all of this energy is really giving me new relationship vibes, okay? So I am going to do an extended. I'm going to continue. I'm going to get more messages for you for the Aphrodite Circle about 
specifics about this king of wands and where and how you meet and what that connection to the past is okay so for anyone who's a member of the aphrodite circle you are going to watch the extended and for those of you that aren't i'll say goodbye if you want to watch the extended and keep going hit the join button now okay i'm sending you so much love take care bye bye